Hello, my name is Lisa from Hans Grohe USA. Today we will be showing you how to remove your older lavatory faucet and replace it with a fresh and new Hans Grohe product. I assure you, installation is easy and I'm here to walk you through it step by step. Our featured product for today is the Hans Grohe Metris Lavatory Faucet. An important factor to consider before installation is how many holes you have in your existing sink. This includes drop-in and undermount sinks. For single hole installations, you can mount the Metris faucet flush to your sink or countertop. Also for your convenience, the Metris faucet comes with a base plate, making it compatible with four inch center set installations as well. When installing your new Hans Grohe bathroom faucet, there are a few tools that will be needed. An adjustable wrench, flathead screwdriver, and a shallow tray to catch any excess water. To remove your old faucet, start by shutting off the hot and cold water supply. You can usually find these shutoff valves under the sink, or in rare cases, the basement. To release pressure from the lines, turn on your old faucet, and then turn it back off again. Next, use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the water supply lines. Have your tray or bucket handy to catch the small amount of water that's still in the line. To ease removal of your old faucet, we recommend disconnecting the old supply lines from your existing bathroom faucet. Now lift the old faucet off the sink. If you had previously installed a four inch center set faucet, start by installing the included base plate and gasket to cover the existing holes. Make sure your base plate is parallel to the backsplash and the front of your sink. Next, take the drain pull rod and slide it into the back of the Metris faucet. Now we're ready to install. Slide the washers and mounting nut up the hose and hand tighten them on the threaded part of the faucet. Once you've tightened the mounting nut and the faucet is firmly in place, take your flathead screwdriver and tighten the tensioning screws connected to the mounting nut. With both mounting screws tightly secured, take your adjustable wrench and tighten each supply hose until snug. Next, install the drain flange and the pop-up assembly. You will find detailed instructions in the manual. After connecting the pivot rod to the pull rod, check to see if it works properly. Now it's time for a quick test. Great, it works, but I should also check for leaks. For the next few days, it's a good precaution to check under the sink periodically just to be sure there are not any leaks. This completes the installation of your new Hans Grohe faucet. We know it will be a beautiful addition to your home. If you have additional questions about your installation or about Hans Grohe products, please visit www.hansgrohe-usa.com or contact our customer service at 1-800-334-0455.